The West Kelowna Warriors opened up their 2023-24 season with a victory over the Penticton V's and how we got there. Uh, the Warriors and the V's playing a spirited effort from Royal LePage Place to open up the season. It was Rorick Appleby who had a terrific preseason for the Warriors. He made some clutch saves, including that one in the first period. And West Kelowna able to get ahead in the opening frame, and it came off the stick of Michael Salandra. Salandra getting the goal on a terrific feed from Vigo Nordstrom. Nordstrom down the right wing side, able to spot Salandra at the front of the net and buried it home at 9.51. The goal coming for Salandra from Nordstrom and Trey Osmus to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead as Salandra picking up from where he left off last season. An outstanding effort to get to the blocker side and give West Kelowna the 1-0 advantage. The V's pressed. It's Max Heisey with an opportunity for the right circle, but Rorick Appleby there to make a solid save. One of Appleby's 32 saves on the night, and he was able to deny Heisey of that opportunity. Another quick chance for the V's and sends Anselmo Rigo down the right side on the right face-off circle. Rigo tried to go five-hole on Appleby. He thought maybe it beat him, but he's able to kick it out and keep the Warriors' lead at one. At the end of the first period, Dylan Brooks had a great opportunity to try and double the Warrior lead. He got in behind the defense, and the Warriors' defender tried to do the same thing. Slip between the legs, just couldn't beat the V's goaltender and Andrew Ness. Second period starting off with a terrific opportunity for the V's once again, and it was another chance in front that Appleby was there to make another solid save and the Warriors had their good look as well as it was Felix Caron across on the left side for Vigo Nordstrom and an outstanding save by Andrew Ness. He came across on the blocker side made a phenomenal stop, lost his glove in the process but a big save there by Ness to keep the game one to nothing. The goaltenders were on display in this hockey game but it, were the, it was the V's who tied the game. That one coming at 6-13. Simone Meyer gets a feed from below the goal line from Connor McPherson and he's able to fire it up and over the blocker side of Rorick Appleby. It's the first BCHL goal for Meyer and that ties the game at 1-1 to before the Warriors were back and trying to get their way to a lead once again. It's Felix Caron down the right wing side with a good look but a blocker stop made by Andrew Ness before the Warriors got their first power play of the game and they converted and it comes off the stick of Johannes Lockberg who's in front of the net and he's able to deposit that one past Andrew Ness. It was Nordstrom from the left wing side who fired it across with a pass to the right circle for Caron his opportunity stop of the rebound for Lockberg is able to fire at home. His first goal in the BC Hockey League. Lockberg gets the power play marker that is able to give the Warriors a 2-1 lead at that point in the second period. And it was again Appleby who was standing tall for West Kelowna. Able to keep that one away from the front of the net. Plenty of tempers flaring over the course of this game as well with chances and scrums at the front of the goal. But both goaltenders really hung in tight at the front of their nets and in the crease. Able to keep the puck out of their net and keep the game uh, to a low scoring affair through two periods but in the third period it was uh, the V's who were able to get themselves a tie game once again at 244 Cal Arnott with his first goal of the season on the power play it was the V's first power play opportunity as well taking the end wall Karam and just below the right face off circle putting it up and over Rorick Appleby Arnott from Meyer and Pachette made it a goal or made it a 2-2 game and a tie hockey game once again the V's trying to get the lead. Appleby standing in tall for that. And the Warriors back in with a great opportunity of their own as a good feed from Brennan Nelson for Michael Salandra going to the front of the net. Redirected on and a save made by the goaltender and Andrew Ness to keep that one out before the Warriors uh, were able to get their lead back again. And it came from Johannes Lockberg. His second goal of the game. Lockberg at 6-11 scoring from Landon Hilditch and also Brennan Nelson to put the Warriors ahead for the third time at a 3-2 score a great turn and fire from the right face-off circle from Lockburg. But the V's had an answer after that as they had all night. It was Billy Renfrew at 822 from Francisco DeLeche and also Thomas Pachette as the puck went to the front of that. Renfrew knocked it down. Looked like maybe it was over the crossbar, but the goal stood to make it a 3-3 hockey game. Ness had to be quick with a left pad save before the Warriors were able to get themselves their fourth lead of the hockey game. Cal Hughes down the middle of the ice and he passed to the right side for for Trent Wilson, who's able to find an opening past the blocker side of Ness into the back of the net. 10-24 the time of the goal. Wilson is first as a warrior from Hughes and Simon Hogue, and that pushed West Kelowna to a lead of 4-3. to three. And the Warriors were battling after that to keep that lead in their possession, and Appleby and company were busy at the front of their net to keep the puck out and keep 
their lead at a goal, but we're also pressing for offensive chances. A great look there to the front of the net. The Nets was able to hold out. Max Heisey, another opportunity across to the left side, and a great save by Appleby as he came across and made a tremendous stop on Attila Lapia, and he was able to keep that puck out to keep the Warriors lead at a goal. Another chance in front of the net that Dylan Brooks saved away from the crease, and he was able to keep that one out. Again, keeping the Warriors lead at bay as the V's pressed for the game's tally, but it's Cal Hughes who finished it off with an empty net goal, fighting underneath the Bavis defender to push it into the back of the net at 19.45 from Johannes Lockberg and Isaiah Norlin. The empty net goal for Hughes, his first in the BC Hockey League, and the Warriors come away with a season-opening 5-3 win over the Penticton Vs.